What's going on? Marco here. And in this video, we're going to talk about what are stocks and how do stocks work? So if you're new to the world of investing, stocks can be something that looks uh, very intimidating, maybe, or confusing because there's so many things. How does Wall Street work? Why do they all go crazy when, when the stocks go down, etc.? But uh, in this video, I'm looking to give you a very, uh, an overview of how stocks work so that it doesn't seem daunting and you can go even deeper and uh, pick stocks. You can uh, make a, a plan for the future, make a plan for the near uh, if it's something that you want to uh, maybe buy stocks and quickly sell them and something maybe for uh, your business. So I don't know if you want to do it for retirement, but I hope that with this video, you'll have, um, you know, the basic knowledge and uh, uh, the fundamental uh, of, of stocks. So, um, yeah, uh, and I'm going to give you a presentation about uh, what are different types of stocks, the risks. Uh, and uh, yes, by the end of the presentation, I hope that you will be able to explain it to someone else in a way that they can say, ah, OK, I get it. Uh, and, and, and maybe they'll, they'll start their own stocks. <laughs> So, excuse me. So, um, also, I'm, I'm going to give you a bonus bonus at the end of the video, so you can uh, quickly get a starting point into stocks and how to do it with relatively low risk and how to get a stock for your yourself. So you get a stock at the end of the video. So, introduction to stocks is uh, stocks uh, represent an ownership in a company. So, um, in the most basic essence a stock say for example if uh, you're thinking about tesla and you go into uh, any type of uh, way that you can buy a stock from tesla you, you buy one stock i believe it's almost 150 by now with that one stock that represents that you are an owner of tesla even though it doesn't seem like it just because you bought that you're an owner of tesla you could say you, you can literally uh, say to people I own a part of Tesla. It's a really, really, really tiny bit, but it's an ownership. So probably like point zero 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 one something percent of the entire company, which is why, for example, if um, if you look at Elon Musk's, um, you know, the total of stocks that he has, he has probably, of course, more than fifty percent of the entire stocks of Tesla. So if you have more than 50%, that means you are the owner of the company or, or, or they're not the owner, but the uh, majority, yeah, majority, um, you know, stakeholder. So you have the decisions, uh, you know, they have to go through you, et cetera, which is, uh, you know, why owners always would want to have more than 50%. But anyways, when they uh, usually when a company goes public and it issues an IPO, it's an initial, uh, sorry, I forgot the, well, anyways, it's an IPO, which means that the company just became public. And when they do this, they allow the general public to be able to buy stocks in a company. Before it was just, you know, locally owned, you know, by them and their, their friends or, or coworkers, uh, whoever they, they wanted to give stocks to. But when it's an IPO, then anybody can buy a stock. That means that you, me, anybody that has, uh, you know, the capital to do it, they can go and buy a stock. And when they buy stock, the more you have, the more ownership. So if you were to buy, I don't know, maybe uh, 30,000 shares of, of uh, Tesla right now, you probably would have some kind of voting right in their company and they would give you more updates, uh, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, so you, you'll have a more important and a more important place in Tesla. So that is, uh, what in, in essence, a stock is, is a small, tiny fraction of your ownership of that company. Why, why is it like that? It's because there were voyages before, especially in the times of, uh, the, you know, the, the conquer, <laughs> conquer. Uh, the New World, when, when the Europeans went into the New World, uh, conquistadors in Spain, of course, uh, they, especially the Dutch, would go to uh, basically rich people and royals and they would say, hey guys, we want to go to the New World and we want to discover new things. We want to 
build new cities and you know bring riches and whatnot. Uh, and this is of course very expensive. And we have a boat, we have a crew, but we need money for food, money for uh, resources, money for uh, building, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, to defend ourselves. And so they went to these people, these rich people, and said, "If you buy a share of whatever we get, when we get it back, that part is for you." So, in a sense, in other words, is I'm going to go do something. And you have a stake of that something. And when that something becomes a reality or it grows, then whatever you gave us to help us to succeed, and it, and it's also what happens today, what you gave us to succeed in our venture, if that increases, that increase is yours. Also, if you want, you can sell it and get, get what you had. In return, plus what you earned because our venture went well, and if um, if you want to keep it there and make it keep, you know, having it keep uh, growing, you could do that too. But you're, in other words, like the Dutch did, which really basically created the the modern stock exchange, is you're basically saying that you I'm giving you my money to help you in your venture, venture, <laughs> venture. Um, so, uh, for example, a new company that comes out tomorrow and they have an incredible idea, you believe in them, you give them, um, you know, $1,000. You say, I want a 1000 worth of shares from your company because I want to give you, I believe that with this money, you'll use it to grow. And then the, the company does really well. So that 1000 that you gave them, maybe it becomes 10000 because of the amounts of shares that you have. And, you know, there you go. So you could keep it there. And if the company keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, you could potentially earn a lot of money. Or you could say, okay, that's enough. Thank you. Uh, you know, that's good that you did well. I'm happy. I want to take my earnings now and uh, take out the money. So that that's uh, something that you could do if you want. So uh, uh, when... when uh, yeah, when we're talking about stocks, that's it. You can think of it that way. There, there's many ways that you can think of it and, and very confusing. Like, oh, yeah, like, what do I need to do to buy it at the right moment? And what is going on? But if you think of it like that, hey, it's a company. They're growing. I think they're going to grow well. And I want to help them. So here's my money. I think, oh, Elon Musk is uh, building a new robot. And it's actually really, really good. I believe it's going to do super well. I give him my money. He gets it. He uses that money to make the robot better. And it's amazing. And I earn, earn an interest from the stocks growing. That's basically it. And if it doesn't go well, you can take it out. Or if it doesn't go well, you can keep your money in and wait until the company does better so that the money goes up again. That's, that's really all you can uh, you, you really need to, to think about in stocks. After that, it's more details, etc. You can get into more things. But that's basically it. Money that you give in a company so that they can do better. And when they do better, you get more money. <laughs> that's it. So, uh, so yeah. Um, and then I, I, I kind of covered it already. But how do stocks, uh, how do they work? Specifically, what, what makes them get higher and lower. Uh, as you see the stock exchange, you can see it on, on the news. They always put the, that uh, section where it shows you, oh, this company got really high, this company went low. It's, it's basically supply and demand. So the more the price goes up, the better the company is doing. The more the price goes down, the less. But actually, sometimes it doesn't even have to do with that. Sometimes there could be some kind of rumor that hey this company uh someone told me that they're you know they're getting uh i don't, I don't know how uh i mean because you can't really know in advance that's that's something that you you're not allowed to but say for example hey uh this company bought a bunch of warehouses everybody thinks they're going to do well so Everybody says, oh, wow, yes, yes, I got to get into this. So everybody starts buying stock, 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 and then the stock price would go up. Or even, hey, uh, this company bought a bunch of warehouses, 
but they see it in a negative way, like, and they wasted hundred thousand dollars for each warehouse and their idea is terrible and that's just an opinion and maybe that that opinion got were um you know went forward to all these other people that are influential and they start panicking and say oh no no yeah that's a terrible idea we gotta sell we gotta sell so even if the company is doing well and that idea could be fruitful because of these people the stock could go down. So it's it's really um it's it's really a study of human nature stocks if you really think about it. Because a, a company could be doing great but uh people may not think so or a company could be not even doing anything but a lot of people give it a hype. For example, Dogecoin. Uh that's a great example of Dogecoin. Uh it was really made as a joke. It was uh, from the Doge and the and the memes that uh, were, were you know they're, they're shared everywhere. Uh, but this uh, Shiba Inu dog and these memes became uh, a cryptocurrency. And uh, cryptocurrencies also you can buy them. Uh, you can consider them as stocks, even though it's a different mentality. But it's basically the exact same thing. Um, and so this this uh, this new stock, this new crypto uh, from this Shiba Inu meme called Dogecoin, um, it's it really was meant to be a joke by the creator. It's confirmed that it was it was supposed to be a joke and kind of like a project for fun. But because of Elon Musk, um, he 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 looked at this the stock and he thought it was really interesting. Apparently, he thought it was very um, you know, amusing, like in an ironic way, like, yeah, let's make this really, really, uh, you know, famous because it's, it's so funny and, you know, make them, make them go well. So he started tweeting and tweeting about Dogecoin, Dogecoin, Dogecoin almost every day, almost every day. And what did the stock do? It just exploded. And why? Because of human, um, because of, uh, of, of uh, just how we are as social human beings that we saw oh this great person elon musk just started tweeting about dogecoin it must be good in going places so all these people started buying dogecoin <laughs> dogecoin that's a british accent i don't know why i'm saying it, but dogecoin <laughs> anyways so um they started buying dogecoin there we go and um uh, and the price went super high Anybody that, uh, that, you know, was into stocks started saying, Hey, everybody, you should buy, uh, Dogecoin because Elon Musk talked about it. So, um, they, they bought it and of course their money went up. And then, um, then after that, unfortunately it went down, but it became a semi solid cryptocurrency and, and Elon Musk still talks about it. So now it became, became in par with the other cryptocurrencies still, uh, it's still going up. At this moment, it's not going as high as before, but every time uh, Elon Musk talks about it, it still goes up. So that's that's something I, I recommend. Maybe you know, put a little bit of money on that one, even though it's it's uh, it's not something that uh, it's very stable. But just a little bit, just in case the next tweets from Elon Musk, you don't miss them. <laughs> so, anyways, that's um. That's that's why they go up and down. It's depending on social interaction and, and human behavior. Uh, it could be either because the company is doing really well and everybody is aware of it and buying more stocks. It could be because they're doing bad and everybody sells their stocks so it plunges down. Or it could be because of social behavior, even social media taking a taking a, uh, a spot in that where it's because of tweets, everybody's buying it. And, and, uh, so it can be anything. So you need to really watch out for what company you're putting your money, uh, or you're buying your stocks from. Sorry. So uh, if, if you, if you really want to make it, uh, where it's really safe, uh, you could do something like Amazon. You could do something like, uh, Tesla, even though, uh, Elon Musk also owns a part of it, but that one is not so volatile because of his tweet, <laughs> rather because of what help is innovation. So that's that's a good stock. Uh, you could do Microsoft. Starbucks is is pretty pretty slow, but it's it keeps going up little by little. Um, and I'll give you more more examples. 
but it's it's better that you know the company, you know what they're doing, you know uh, who's in charge, you know if they're serious. And those are things you have to keep an eye on. And it doesn't mean that you have to look at the stocks every single day like a crazy person. But just, hey, I believe in what they're doing and uh, my stocks are there. So I, you know, I trust that they, they're working hard. Yeah, work hard, hard working uh, people on a company and your money will go well. That's, that's, uh, that's how, how it is. Then um, if you're a stock owner, uh, if you have a little, you know, some some shares, and it might not be so uh, significant, but if you have a lot of shares, you can have um, voting rights and dividends. And if you have voting rights, uh, some some companies, even if you have uh, not so many stocks, they they give you voting rights, or they let you listen to the uh, stockbroker or, or stockholder meetings, where they say like, yeah, well, how how how's everything going, CEO? Is it is the company doing well? Are we having new projects? Uh, do you have any new uh, things that you're uh, innovating in? Um, technologies that you're, you're using or thinking about? For example, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, when he uh, launched the Meta uh, revolution, he changed his name. Why did he change his name? Because he wanted to show stockholders, I am serious about this. I'm going to go all the way. And uh, Meta, uh, the, the Metaverse is still growing. But... <clears throat> Uh, in his case, he actually gave all in. <laughs> Excuse me, should have put my water next to me. Um, he, in his case, he. he <clears throat> wow, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna put water next to him, but anyways, um, he, um, because he put all his money into it, he actually uh, put all the resources of the company into that new venture and he he started creating helmets he started creating things and it's amazing i use it still i use it and i do a lot of things on it but him his his stocks went down the stocks of meta went down because um simply people are not that ready for it they they're doing it they're using it but they're not that ready it's not there yet it will be but it's not there yet However, other companies like Microsoft and Apple, they're doing it as a side thing. They keep their eyes on it. They're creating stuff for the metaverse, their own helmets, but they're doing it on the side because they know this is bread and butter, maybe AI, for example, and we're doing a lot of things in the metaverse, still keeping an eye on it. So in his case for, for Mark Zuckerberg, he had to basically <laughs> say to the... The stockholders in their in their stockholder meeting, like I mentioned, hey, uh, you know this is what's going on, and they got angry at him. They're like, hey, we gave you this money that we pay for stocks in your company, and you are basically laying off people, and uh, you're using a lot of money that's going basically not working out right now. What are you going to do to fix this? Because otherwise, we're going to sell, and that would mean a lot of money going out of the company. <clears throat> so. He switched gears. He said, I'm sorry, I'm gonna still gonna work on the metaverse on the side, but right now we're gonna work on artificial intelligence because it's what's going on right now. And that's going well with them. So he shifted because of that stockholder meeting. So as you being a stockholder with a lot of shares, you could, or, or maybe not so many, you could be a part of that stockholder meeting and you could have a say on what the company is going to do. Even if you don't work directly with the company, you still have, uh, in a sense, rights to say, hey, I don't agree with that. What's going on? Why are we doing it that way? We, there's, there's all these reports that it's not working. I think we should do it like this. And then the other could say yes or no or whatever, but you vote anyways. And then uh, the other benefit that you have as a stockholder is some companies to, uh, entice more people to buy their stocks, they give something that is called dividends. And a dividend is something that uh, is paid to all of the stockholders in a percentage of uh, maybe a big earning from the company. And they spread it out and give a part of it to all the stockholders. For example, hey, I don't know... Uh, Apple just gained uh, two billion from their new iPhone sales. Sales, 
And uh, to make our stockholders happy, we're going to give 1% um, of, I don't know exactly how they would do it, but like they would, um, they would partition it specifically. If you have 2% of the company, then those 2 billion would be partitioned to 2% and you would get that 2% from the 2 billion as a dividend. So yeah, there we go. That's, that's exactly how it is. And uh, so you get out a significant amount and you would just get that because they're happy to, um, to have you as a stockholder that you believe in them and they give you a reward. So not every company does this, but some, do randomly they'll they'll give the money uh out for the stockholders to make them feel happy that they're that they're uh, appreciated there you go appreciate that's the word and then then um uh, it's uh yeah like i said so this is uh something that you have to think about uh if you want to go into this world um, some people may say that it's, it's, uh, you, you, you're working with chance and whatnot. And, in if you really don't, you know, put your, uh, don't, don't really look into it. It could be something you've left for chance, but if you are willing to say, Hey, I know this company is doing well and I believe in their message. I believe in their product or service. I believe that they're going to do good for for humans <laughs> um and i want to help and invest to help them out and also it helps me so it's a win-win situation uh it shouldn't be done as like oh i just want to be rich tomorrow and i'm gonna put all my money in that's not the goal that's 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 how you lose your money so think of it as if you believe in a company you believe in what they're doing and you believe in the people that are working in it and that it's going to help people, that's a company that, that you probably should put your uh, money into and buy stocks. Uh, and of course that they're doing well. So look at always like, oh, what is this company think, doing now? What are the next steps in their, in their venture? How are they helping people? What are their public relations? So it's something that you need to look at. Um, so as I said, there's a bonus um of how to get stocks now that you know a little bit about it is um <clears throat> sorry um there's an app called robin hood some of you might have heard of it it's it's very very easy to get a stock because before you actually had to go through a stock broker which are all those people going crazy on on uh, on wall street uh but you don't need to go through them anymore uh, because you can use an app like Robinhood and you can just simply create your account, put your details, put your uh, bank information, and very quickly you can go and search for Tesla and say, I want to buy one stock. They, if depending on when the market is open, because they open at nine and I believe they close it, I think it's like at three or four gonna check but they this is during the daytime for cryptocurrency it's 24 hours which is the benefit but say if you wanted to buy tesla which is a regular stock you buy it in the in the hours and then robin hood simply tells you you've just purchased one stock of tesla there you go and then it shows you the statistics of how it's growing and how much money you earn and it's really easy to use where you can uh, either keep uh, adding more stocks, searching for them on the little search, or you can sell them. And uh, when it's sold, <laughs> when it's sold, oh my gosh, what are you doing to me, France? When it's sold, um, you can um, get the money right there and then just put it into your bank. So it's it's super simple, super, super simple. And if you have any questions about that, leave them in a comment below. Also, what are you doing to um, to buy stocks? If you're using cryptocurrencies, what is your favorite cryptocurrency uh, wallet? There's a wallet too on Robinhood, but uh, sometimes people say, hey, I can't transfer as easy as I want. Robinhood is also doing one of those uh, crypto wallets. But, uh, but anyway, I love Robinhood because it's super easy to use. So the, the, the website is Robinhood.com. And I'll leave the link in the description. 
and uh and yeah so that's that's how how it was uh so we learned about stocks how they work why what are their benefits what are voting rights what are dividends um how what how why do they go up why do they go down uh how you can earn money and how you can uh, protect yourself from losing money and uh one last thing that i wanted to mention too is if you use the the website called learnapp.com or search on the app store learn that's an incredible tool i i used it i binged read it or listened because you can also listen of how stocks work in detail like uh, because I gave a very general overview, but with that app, Learn, you can learn really well. And uh, I feel you'll be very confident right before buying a stock. So that's what I recommend you do right now is go to learnapp.com or search on the app store, Learn, purchase it because it's paid, but don't worry, it's super worth it and it's just one payment. And then after that, go ahead and download Robinhood and start your journey. I believe they give you a free stock uh, for the first time and if you if you share it with, with your friends. So uh, there you have it. That's that's uh, that's uh, my explanation of stocks. I uh, personally, I, I have uh, I've worked with, with stocks a little bit and uh, really nice. it's, it's, it's uh, really uh, interesting how, uh, how it grows. It's like a little plant. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments how how uh, you've been using stocks, what app you've been using, uh, how you're doing your cryptocurrency tradings, and what are your favorite stocks. So, uh, yep, yeah, hope uh, hope that this video helped you. And if you really uh, if you earn value, please like and subscribe, and also please share it with your friends. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.